What's up, guys? All right, right on, right on. Let's talk about uh, choosing a school. Choosing a school for truck drivers and the importance of choosing a school. Okay. Let's talk about that real quick. Well, it is important. You know, uh, some schools, man, they're, they want 8000 bucks or more, you know. I know I pay 8000 for mine. I went to Roadmaster School. They were pretty cool. Uh, no complaints. They were nice. But, you know, they had the right equipment. I went to the one in Kansas City, Missouri, and uh, the, the, their lot was just full of holes, they were potholes, and it kind of sucks when you're first learning how to maneuver this truck, and uh, it's full of holes, and, and it's a little tough there, but the instructors were very really nice, but uh, I couldn't understand it before, like we were all complaining about the parking lot, being all messed up, and things like that, and, Places you need to go to deliver the stuff. <laughs> like I said, it's not all peaches and cream. <laughs> so, you know, it, but it's important because it's the name of your school that matters for you to get a job. So, if you go with a cheap ass school, you know, I mean, you can still get with some of these like huge corporations, you know, uh, company transport, uh, Warner. You know, U.S. Express, uh, the Swift, okay, and uh, I'm not going to talk shit about any of those companies, okay, uh, I believe they're all okay, they're all good, you gotta start somewhere, you gotta start, you know, it's, you know, they're, they're truckers, just like everybody, we all start somewhere, okay, and it's up to you to better yourself, not just because you are went to Swift and went to school for Swift, uh, you know, you are going to be a bad driver now, you know, you got the reputation, but I'm going to let you know right now for all you new guys that are first thing now watching these videos and you're getting into trucker, you're thinking about trucking, uh, you might not know this, but Swift is like the clown of the industry, okay, they're always inside of a ditch, you know, they're always doing stupid things, you know, irresponsible things. Uh, and then just because the company just hires anybody and within a week or so, they're driving their trucks all by themselves and uh, not just sport training, okay, sport training, right? Not everybody can do this. And, I mean, I, I could have an accident right now. I'm going to be doing it for a little bit now. I never had an accident, so, but I'm being careful. But it could happen, like I said, you know. You need to use common sense, and some people don't use it, okay? And, uh, well, choose in a company. Choose in a company to go, you can go with a big company, and you will get into a contract with them. Year to two years, I believe they do for two years. But now you're stuck with them, okay? And they will pay for your school, you know. They, they literally pay for your school. They do it. It's free. You gotta go to school with them. But then two weeks, you're out. You know, one week orientation, another two weeks with the instructor. And I believe it's like 170 hours to 200 hours, depends on the company you go to. And you will be on the road by yourself after that, either with a teammate. All by yourself, okay. So I will talk about more in depth with companies as much as I know, like the more major ones. But that's how it is, guys. That's this is how it is. You know, we're all gonna start somewhere. The pace not gonna be good. The pace not gonna be like what you think it's gonna be. All right. And you, but you get used to. You're learning. So I looked at it as a hey. They're paying me to learn. Literally, they're paying me to learn. Well, obviously, we got bills. You know, I'm married. I have kids. You know, I have to provide for my family. So it was tough for me. It was tough. But they will pay me to learn. I mean, you, you know, 
just going to go to school for two weeks and then train with a truck driver, uh, a trainer for two weeks and you think you can do this job? No. No. You got to need some experience, right? And that's the only part that's scary about this profession is that you got to teach yourself most of the time. I will say 90%. Um, I went through a few different instructors and I could say only one of them was really good. So, you know, and after that, it was all up to me, you know, all up to me. So, schools, choose wisely, um, go with a reputable school, Roadmaster is one of them. That's the one I'm going to really tell you guys to go to, Roadmaster. A lot of good drivers come out of there. You can get a job with Warner, because Roadmaster is partnered with Warner, okay? Uh, Warner owns uh, US Express, so you'll be able to get a job with US Express, and they actually are partnered with um, Covenant Transport, okay? So I went with Covenant Transport, and uh, I worked for them for like three months. So, and I received a really good training from them. It was the best, okay? I worked for different companies, but that was my first one. And it was pretty cool, man. You know, the only thing I could say, the negative part about it, is that they force you to have a teammate with you. And if you don't come with someone that you know, a family member, they just randomly pick a teammate for you. You can pick it, and they can pick it for you too as well. Uh, somebody you know there in orientation, or whatever. And you get along with that person, it works. But if you don't, I, I had a great teammate, man. I really did. <laughs> you know, the guy had five years experience, so it helped me out. I, I thought that was the right goal. That's why I went with the transport thinking, hey, if I have a teammate and I'm so new, I'm going to give me a teammate that's a little more experience than me so that he can teach me how to do things. Sometimes it works because your teammate, you know, it's good. It's a good driver. Or sometimes it doesn't because he can have, you know, already bad behaviors and you don't want to pick up on that and it's really easy to pick up on bad behaviors okay so you want to make yourself your own driver all right keep that but you will pick up things from everybody so my my teammate steven man i love that guy uh, you know he told me straight up hey man don't do what i do you know what i'm saying but he, I mean, he helped me out man because i could barely back up i could barely back up i mean it's just so tough and uh, you, you get a lot of pressure here, you know. You, there's a lot of pressure when you're backing up this truck. You don't want to hit anything because, you know, they'll yell at you. <laughs> Plus, it goes in your data report, okay? It goes inside your report, and it'll stay with you for years. And it's hard, man, if you want to get another job and you get accidents. So, you know, it's, it's a tough one. That's one thing you guys got to be careful about. So, but it worked out for me doing that. So, let's go back into the school, Roadmaster. Roadmaster was great. It was great. Like I said, uh, the instructors were good. They were patient. Everything happens really fast. They do well, uh, get your room. And uh, there was no food and all the time. Sometimes they bring something out for you to snack on. That was really cool. That was really cool. You got coffee there, it was free. Um, things like that. It's nine hours a day. Okay, uh, you're in the classroom just for a little bit, and then you're outside working on the trucks. Okay, pre trip is the first thing you're gonna get into, and you need to pass that to move on to uh, start doing all the other practical stuff, which will be the maneuvers, backing up, and everything like that. You do the maneuvers, backing up maneuvers, and the road test, the road practice. So, when you're gonna get your CDL, you know, I would just recommend you the first thing you do. Whether any school you want to pay, pick to go to is to get your CDL permit. All right, that's the first step to get a CDL. All right, a permit. Okay, so get your permit first. It's just like it's just like getting a license for a, a, a car. Okay, so you get your permit, and then you go to school with your permit. Okay, it's valid for six months. As long as you drive them with a CDL holder, you're good, you can drive a truck, okay? So get your permit, all right, go to school. So that part is done. 
So you don't, you're not going to get to school and start studying for two days or whatever they give you the time to study and then they take you to get your permit. Okay, but if you fail that test, which is it's stupid, but you know, there's really smart people that fail it because it's just tricky questions, you're nervous. They're really, really tricky questions. The way they word things, some they don't make no sense because it makes no sense, but it is what it is. You gotta do it, right? Just take the driver's license, test, regular. Let's see. So, you're not wasting time. You know, I got there with my permit, and there was a lot of people that didn't, and they were wasting time doing that. I was one day in the classroom telling me how things are working, you know, how, how everything works, and then from there right to the yard, man, and start practicing on the trucks. That's basically what you're there for, okay? And uh, they're training you to get the practical test, right? The, the road test, the, the parking test, the maneuver test, okay? The bridging te test to get your CDL, to get the real thing, okay? So, you know, that was, uh, that was two weeks there. So, so I believe it was 140 hours. 40 hours, 120 hours, I gotta check, something like that. It can be a little longer, you know. I felt the test three times, okay, three times. And I thought I had it, but it's not as easy when you're nervous, it's not as easy when you have uh, the OT instructor sitting with you on the side or watching you over here, okay. So you practice pre-trip, you practice maneuvers, the parking maneuvers, and you do road test. And you're gonna constantly do this until you have you have met the hours that needs to be required for you to go get your skill. Okay. Um, after that, you go get your skill, and you pass the test, and it's over. They give you a diploma, and you're done. You can go home now. Okay. You can go home now. In between that, you're gonna pick a company to work for. You can work for any company you want. You don't have to work for the companies they offer that they're partnership with. Okay. So the, the people that recruited them there. But uh, you can go to work for any company you want already. Okay. But then you pick a, a place where to go, it's easy because they got Warner. You know, if you're going to become a truck driver and you need to go to one of these big major companies, Warner. You know. You're like I said, it's 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 a better company, okay? The good trucks. They're huge, okay? They're, they're not as big as uh, Swift, but they're number two, okay? And they're awesome. I mean, they were good. Uh, Warner is good. Oh, you wanna go with Covenant Drive? They were cool too. I really enjoy my experience in Covenant Drive. So, but we'll talk about that later in another video. But schools, we talked about school. How to get into truck driving? First step, go to your driver's license place and you're city where you live okay and I'm in traffic here <laughs> you're gonna go and get your permit you say I want to apply for a CDL permit they give you a little book you study that all right and you go past the test depends where you live what state uh, 50 bucks or whatever it is that was me when I lived in Michigan when I did it. Okay, and you pay this three test, three, and you're gonna find out there's three parts of this test. Okay, uh, you don't have to do them all at once because you don't. You do one each day if you wanted to. Depends, depends. Now with COVID 19, they do appointments and do things. So be ready to maybe do all three of them and get, get, get it over with. That's what I did. All right, and I didn't fail them the first time. I fell the first time, and I fell the second time, and I, well, I almost fell the third time, <laughs> but I did it. Okay, so the tricky questions, and it took me a while. It took me a week. It took me a week, if I don't remember correctly, a week. All right, and um, but it's doable. It's doable. Okay, just be patient. I was in a rush. That's what I'm saying. You need to be patient. Study as much as you can. Be prepared. Go pass the test. You fit. Listen, you fail the test, you learn from that. You learn, okay, look, I fell this test. All right, they have like three formats, so don't think that the next time you're gonna get the new one, and the computer randomly choose the questions. So be prepared. It's YouTube. I use YouTube to learn. There's a lot of uh, uh, YouTube channels where they teach you just to uh, practice my CDL permit test. Bam, 
and it'll it'll go in there. CDL A, okay? It's a CDL A and a CDL B. All right. You want to become a over the road truck driver like I am? CDL A. All right. Okay. So you want to become a bus driver or a school driver, or you want to drive a smaller trucks, this and smaller ways to you get to class B. All right. So that's still CDL. It's all good. But we're talking about CDL A here. This is how this is how you do. It. Get your permit. Pick a school. Get along. You can get along to go, or you can pay for it. All right, or you can pick one of those major companies. They will pay you school for free for you. The main thing and the message from this video is that, guys, you don't have to have money to enter into this professional career. Okay, you can be dirt broke, 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 like broke, broke. <laughs> And still become a CDL driver because they will fly you there or transport you there with a bus or whatever. They'll put you anywhere. You'll get to a hotel room. They'll feed you. All right. They'll teach you. And before you know it, you're out on the road with a trainer. Okay. All right. You're getting paid. You're getting paid for orientation. You're getting paid to learn this. It's awesome. You can do it. You can be sitting right now in your couch without a job, broke, or having a job that you hate, and you're broke every week anyways. You don't have to save money to do this. You can just get one of these companies and go in there. Okay, Warner will help you. I think, I know Swift will help you. CR England will help you. There's a lot of companies. They will help you. The next video, I'm going to talk about the companies. Maybe I'll do another video. We'll, we'll see. But I'm definitely going to talk about different companies and what I think about them. My opinion can be different than other people's opinion. And what I want for trucking can be a lot different than what you guys want for trucking. Okay? This is an amazing profession that you can choose a lot of branches. Okay? And uh, you stay happy. For the main thing is you're going to stay happy with what you want to do. Personal myself, I wanted to become an owner operator. A lot of truck drivers want to do that. Okay? And I said, well, let me see if I wanted to. And I did. And I am. Uh, Alright? So, I'm a, I'm a lease purchase owner operator. I own my own truck. Okay? I'm paying for it. You know, but it's a lease purchase. It's lease. But by the time I'm done with this lease, in four more years, it's going to be my truck. Completely. So, it's my now. Right, but I'm leased on to a company which I don't have my own authority. Okay, I don't have 